All right, y'all, so I kind of want to show you what I have going on here. Um, I don't know if you remember a while back I did a video on trying to fix the, the down function of the dump bed. It takes forever to go down. Well, I finally have that kind of design that I was talking about um, figured out, and I got it started here. So, um, uh, hold on. All right, first of all, make sure you have your bed propped. I actually have... So this bed, this bed has a, uh, a prop built into it here. So make, make sure you don't be doing anything underneath your bed without it propped safely. Like seriously, it could kill you. There's been a lot of people die like that. So this is what runs the dump bed. So this little piston here goes in and out, allows the fluid to pass through the proper hose. So it's ran by um, this lever here, and then it's pinned on down here. I, uh, I built this rod. I used quarter inch rod, one inch flat stock, cut the head off of a, a bolt, put a little cotter pin in to hold it all together. So I ran the rod, see here it lined up perfect, run this rod. You know, I unhooked the cable from there, ran the rod all the way up through, <laughs> drilled a hole through the back of the cab. Darn it. Alright. See, see, here's where the rod comes in. So I drilled a hole. There's like a step up in the back of the floor here. Drilled a hole through that. There was actually one hole existing there already. Um, there was like a wire uh, retainer in that, and I just took it out. I don't need that wire. And I drilled a, um, I think it's like a three quarter inch hole in there. cable comes up through here or the uh, rod comes up through here so now I'm going to build a lever system onto this to actuate this so when it pulls forward that's bed up when you push it back that's bed down and it works really well I've actually been using it like this for for a couple weeks now so I haven't had time to fix this so just you know lean over and pull on this it works hundred times better than this did. This was a pain in the butt. So, um, we're gonna try it out. We're gonna try to try to build this lever system today. So here's what I'm thinking. I have this piece of, um, uh, I think it's quarter inch flat stock, one inch wide. I have this piece and it looks like it's actually the perfect length so I might not even have to cut it but I figure I'll connect it down here somehow and have it on some kind of a you know pivot halfway down or a little more than halfway down and then you know boom 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 I just don't want it to be able to pivot too much because I don't know if my hole will be big enough back here and I don't want this, I don't want anything permanently mounted on here or this bent or anything. Because if I want to be able to take this off or take this out and slide it through the back of the kit, I won't be able to without cutting it. And I don't want to do that. So, you know, especially in case I get this all rigged up and I find out that I gotta drill that hole bigger because there's too much movement up and down. So let's let's figure this out. I got an idea in mind. 
So here's kind of what I've come up with. So I have this uh, bushing thing here. And it's, and I have this rubber hose. <clears throat> it fits pretty well inside there. And then this fits pretty good on onto there. So what I'm thinking is, you know, I'll cut this off so it fits inside there. And then drill and tap a hole in here to act as a set screw. I can tighten down on it and then the rubber will keep it from sliding back and forth. I know the set screw will do that too, but at least this will help grip down better and won't mar it up so bad. So um, I just think that that's gonna be the cleanest way to do that. And then on this side, I'll, I don't have any other round stock, so I'll just cut a section of this unthreaded shank out of this bolt, weld it to the side of here, and it'll go through a hole in the bottom of the lever. What do you think? Think it'll work? Let's find out, huh? I wonder if this is hardened. Might make it a little difficult to drill and tap. Center punch is pretty easy, so. Alright, so now I just gotta figure out what size screw I'm gonna use. This might be an overkill. It's also gonna depend on what tap I have. Well, this, uh, this 5 16 18 that I already had, I, I've actually found a tap for. I have both a uh, taper tap and a bottom tap. See, the taper tap is what you usually want to start with. You know, it tapers into the thread. But if you're going into a blind hole, you might not be able to get all the threads in properly. So um, then you want to follow up with one of these to get the threads of the rest of the way. Uh, blind hole means it doesn't go all the way through. You know, it stops. So I'm only going through one side of this, so. We got a couple of 5 16 18 National Course thread taps. Um, so we need to figure out what size drill we need to use. And I don't, I don't have a chart, I'll just, I'll look it up on my phone. So if you just, um, if you just go to Google, and type 5 slash 16 dash 18 or whatever size you're looking for and it automatically came up here tap drill size it'll probably give us a chart yeah so first whoop that's a never mind hold on here so I'll go to images and then you know you can just pull up a chart here so, 5 sixteenths, 18, we want an F drill bit. Size F, which I'm sure I have, but let's look and see what size an F drill bit is. Right there. F drill bit is 257 thousandths. So 
we can use a quarter inch drill if we have to. Quarter inch is 250 thousandths, 0 0.250, and this is, requires two point, or 0.257. And if anything, I'd rather the threads be a little bit tighter since we don't have much of a wall here. So let's look for a quarter inch drill bit. So I actually already had one in the in the drill, quarter inch. So let's uh, let's drill a hole. A little bit of oil on there. So whenever you're drilling a hole that you're going to tap, it's, it's important to make sure your drill bit's as straight as possible. You don't want to drill it crooked. All right, so let's tap this. So since I don't, I don't have a tap handle, um, you can find a wrench that'll fit it. In this case, a quarter inch wrench will fit it. Or you can press a hex nut onto it and use a socket, which is what I'm going to do. Just be very gentle about it. Make sure you're wearing your safety glasses. There. So you press that on there, now I can use a socket and ratchet. drive socket and ratchet and get some oil on there and just you want to keep it as uh, straight up and down as possible apply a little bit of downward pressure and run it in like you would a bolt and then it'll eventually take hold and Down. And if you're going through a thicker surface, sometimes you might need to back it off a little bit, clean the uh, metal chips out. But since I'm going through such a thin wall, it's um, doing pretty good. Alright, so we got that one all through. bottom tap through it. Good to go. Clean it out. And you want to be careful, especially with a thin wool like this, that you don't over tighten it because you can probably strip that out pretty easy. Get that down on there. And that should tighten down on the rod real nice. Okay. Now we need to wipe this off. on the bottom. Now we're going to weld our going to weld our uh, 
pin on, but we got to make our pin first. All right, so I'm actually going to use um, this is one of my old hooks off my safety chains on my trailer. And I'm going to use the clevis pin out of it. It's already got a hole drilled in it for the cotter pin. But it's a little bit long. I don't need it that long. So, you know, I'm going through, I'm only going to go through quarter inch flat stock. Maybe leave room for a washer on there. All right, and we'll we'll put that back in our hardware bin. Might be able to use that for a pen for something else someday. So if it's ever a little bit chilly out and you need to warm up, just get a hacksaw out and cut something. Warm me up real quick. So I added just a little bit for the weld. Didn't think about that. Tack on there. Get one on the other side.
will do just fine. Man. Not much of a welder, but that that's actually pretty nice. Alright, so now we need to figure out what size hole to drill in my handle here. So best way to do that. This is the pin that's gonna go through there. We'll take our um, take our digital caliper here. is 0.458 458 thousandths and we want it to be pretty close to that not much bigger than that at all so a little less than half inch let's see what we got for a little less than half inch so I made up this handy drill bit rack all the sizes listed on here. It makes it nice whenever you're looking for a quick reference. So there's half inch, 15 30 seconds. So to find the uh, decimal of your fractional drill bit, if you don't know how to do that, you just take your top number divided by your bottom number, 468 thousandths. So I think that's going to be perfect. You know, it's about eight or nine thousandths bigger than the pin. And just for reference, a uh, uh, thousandths of an inch, 0 .001. So the human hair, I believe, is about seven thousandths of an inch. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of that sizing. So let's uh, center punch our hole here. Doesn't have to be exact. See them ninja reflexes there? So now you'll want to debur your hole, and you can do that with a round file or you know a stone on a on a grind on an air grinder. Pretty good. calculated something that I forget what I was doing here all right so like a dummy I didn't actually check that this was a 15 30 seconds bit it is not it's a 13 30 seconds so that's not gonna work be a little tight but we can clean this up too it's a little rusty but that, that's good you don't want it too tight because it'll bind up but you don't want it too loose because it might bind up again if it gets cocked in there so let's just uh, let's clean that up a little bit okay 
That fits in there pretty nice. So there is our final assembly for the bottom half of that lever. All right, let's figure out how to mount this now. So it's going to need to go there. Let's say about two inches. Need some kind of a two inch standoff there. Daddy? Yeah. I think you need to come see something. I need to come see something. Okay. And you need something to get it out of here. Okay, just a second. All right, so I have a game plan here. It's uh, kind of hard to explain. I don't really know how I'm gonna explain this, but I'm gonna make this work for this. So, I'll just show you. I can't really explain it. All right, so now where we're at is uh, yeah. so this is the end that's going to be sticking out here. So we need, let's say, half an inch for room for a washer and a pin. And then the lever is a quarter inch. So three quarter. All right, so then we can go, we need basically a washer behind there and we can double up washers if we need to. We need some kind of a, sh well basically we need a shoulder right there. And that needs to be two inches. So we're at three quarter, we need to go at two and three quarter. And this is where it needs to go against that plate. So let's start with that. Needs to go against the plate there. <clears throat> Ideally, I'd run another nut up here, but I don't have another one, and those threads are buggered up. I'm trying to do this with everything I have here. So, what I'm planning to do, I don't even have the right size washers, is I'm going to lay a bead of weld around here. butt that up again it there and then I'll maybe even weld the washer on so let's start with that
All right, and it's not the prettiest, but it's not too bad. So, uh, the way that's gonna work is it'll go in through that existing uh, mount in there. I have a nut and I got a lock washer for it. And, you know, we'll tighten that down on there. So then, we need a shoulder at two inches. So, two inches from the bottom there, we need a shoulder. That's where I need another shoulder. What do you think? Stupid? Or smart? Wish I had the right size washers. All right, <laughs> it's not super pretty, but I, th I think it's gonna work, y'all. I think it's gonna work. Okay, so now, basically what we have going on is we need quarter inch that's how thick the plate is, or the lever is and we want to add enough room for a washer All right my battery died there but uh, I got got my hole drilled for my for my pin. Um, but now we need to figure out where to mount this and I'm th I'm thinking You know it needs to be a little more towards the bottom I need this to be free floating pretty good I think we're gonna go We're gonna put it right there eighths bit for because this is a five eighths bolt was yeah we didn't 
didn't even break anything. Alright, so that'll go there. I'm gonna grab my nut and washer. Okay. Lock washer. And the nut. Now we need to drill the hole in this. I'm thinking right there. Drilled it just a little off center, but I think that'll be okay. Awesome. That works awesome. All right. So now we just need to Put the finishing touches on everything. So, you know, we got that. I guess we should just mock everything up how it's supposed to be just to make sure we're good. You know, I think I, well, we'll just put that in there. Might have another nice pen to put in. Whoa, yeah, I didn't tighten that down. So we'll, we'll need to tighten that down how it's supposed to be. What's nice about this too is it leaves me room for adjustment. You know, I can, if I don't like where the handle's at, I can move this forward or backward to, um, you know, put it where I want it. I'm gonna get the right size washer to put on there at some point. I like that. It's a little wobbly, but maybe we can maybe we can thread this someday and um, you know we'll stop the threads just shy of tightening down on it but for now this is gonna work out good so really all I need is to I'd like to round off the bottom edges down here and then I'd like to figure out some kind of a some kind of a um, handle up here and I have an idea So this is an old uh, shift knob out of, uh, out of an older body style Ford, just like this. Um, we scrapped out my dad's 
Oh, I think it was a 95 F-150 many years ago and this has been hanging in my garage just waiting for the right moment. How cool would that be? Maybe I can uh, sand this off and put an up and down on there. So I just figure out how I want to mount it. All right, so here, here's what I'm thinking. Something like that. And maybe I should have cut the more, a little more of an angle on that. Yeah, I'm gonna cut a little more of an angle. see it. 